Welcome back. We know that thousands and thousands of you were watching the Utes on our station last night. The team and ABC put on quite a show. It reminded our Craig Worth, by the way, about when the Utes first played on our station 71 years ago. Tonight's story contains a lot of film clips from his past stories as we celebrate Craig's 50 years in television. Now in sports, the football scores for today. First in the Skyline Conference, Wyoming 21 and Utah 7. Denver 14, BYU 7. Utah State 22 and Montana State 13. Of course, football and TV just go together. We were not the first station to ever broadcast football, but as America's 19th station on the air and Utah's first TV station, Channel 4 was a pioneer in live football telecasts. The university and Channel 4 agreed to televise every home game in our first year of 1948. Now this thrilled TV set dealers, Arvax showed this set for $199 so you could be the first on your block to watch those games. And this is that 1948 TV as advertised. Can you imagine having the entire neighborhood over and watching a football game on that screen, your big screen? Oh, it was so cool. You could see Idaho, the U of U and Arizona, and the big rival, Utah State all on that little screen. Of course, you could argue the players weren't too big either. The average weight on the team was 189 pounds, and the line had a 200-pound average. Okay, that really isn't an argument on how they fit on a small screen, but what was more fascinating was the newspaper found it more interesting to describe how newfangled TV worked rather than what happened in the game. Our quarterback Cannon Parkinson's pass was a million and a half little electronic elements. How you could see eight or nine players at a time, and how a hair-like beam sweeps across your TV set at home. In fact, the Tribune in 1948 showed the TV control room. Apparently that was better than any old game photo. Yes, TV and football did go together. And by the way, this footage is of the youths from back then, but not from television. You see, we didn't have videotape. And really, in honesty, it probably did not look this good. Oh, but folks loved it. You know, TV, fans, and maybe some chips and a beverage did go together. So much that later Channel 4 started a show with the old Utah coach. I found an audition tape for that sportscast. This is a crying towel. This is Ray Nagel, head football coach at the University of Utah. And this is last week's score, UCLA 14, Utah 12. Ray, why did you have Utah punt on first down? Presenting Football with Ray Nagel with highlights of last week's University of Utah's football game, up to the minute scouting reports, and the inside story of football at the University of Utah. Paul James and Coach Ray made sports interactive. Sam Gallup of Blaine Street in Salt Lake City wants to know why did you punt on first down last week? Well, Paul, at the time it seemed like a fine idea. I slept on it two nights now and I agree with the gentleman. I think he's right. We shouldn't have kicked. So just remember, thanks to the speed of TV, You've had the illusion of one continuous moving action view, and the ball hasn't even reached the pass receiver. However, you saw it on your six-inch screen because this is the future. This is 1948. Craigworth, ABC 4 News.